Okay, from 5, 5, I've got a very straightforward find the inverse of this uh, linear function. So we first write it as y equals 5x minus 2. Then we swip, swap them around, x equals 5y minus 2. And then I solve for y, so I add 2 to both sides. And then I divide both sides by 5. And then I'm going to write this as y equals um, x plus 2 over 5. And then finally, I'll write f to the minus 1 of x equals x plus 2 over 5. So this, then, is the inverse of our original function, OK? And if I'd started with a g of x, then I'd have g to the minus 1 of x, and h of x, and h to the minus 1 of x. It's a way of showing that these two are the matches. And it's much easier and much more straightforward if we're always just starting off with y, because we sometimes deal with pairs of functions and their inverses. All right? Thank you.